Hi friends, let's perform some database operations in SQL Server. So let, let's take an example for library management system where we need to issue the book. So let's create some tables. So this is the login for SQL Server. By default, we'll have to log in with dot slash SQL Express. Now here you can create the databases. Let's create a database. For MIT library. Now here you can see the different database objects available for MIT library. Now let's create a table inside MIT library. New table. For example, let's take some student ID. Let's say Envercare, student name, Envercare. Let's give this as a primary key and save this. Let's give the name of this table is student master. Let's close this. Again, you can add some more tables. For example, we need to add some bookmaster. So here let's take book attributes for bookmaster table accession number. Let's take this as numeric. Let's take the title of a book and where care. Then let's take author and where care and let's take the status of a book like initially when you purchase that book its initial status in the library would be available so I'm taking this as care and I'll specify only one care like we can just take only one character over there I'll just take this give this as accession number primary key save this table with the name book master now you can specify, specify some more constraints in this table like for example for status you can specify the check constraint that we should make this status either available or either it is issued so you can say specify the expression so status equals to a or status equals to i so when when this book book will be issued so its status will be changed to i and when it, when it is uh, returned again it will be available so let's click ok close we'll save this so automatically the constraints will be saved now we have three constraints over there primary key check constraint and not null constraint so just save this table and close this now our third table would be here issue master table where let's take the date of issue let's take data type as date then we'll take date of issue afterwards we'll take accession number as a reference key so this accession number was numeric there then we have student id to which student that book has been issued student id its data type was nvrk so let's save this table no, sorry so let's save this table with the name issue master i will provide some references like give the relationship add this provide the table and column specification and here in book master accession number was primary key here it is foreign key just click ok then second constraint we have to specify student master's primary key and in issue master it is foreign key just click ok close this and save this right. so it will ask you do you want to continue that you want to make a relationship with this table so you just click yes now just close this so our tables are created we'll just refresh it you see the tables have been created in the database MIT library now the next thing is 
you can see the database diagram initially when you install this database diagram would not be available so you'll have to just make it available by performing some changes there in properties in files you can just change the owner name over here make it SA so okay now this is available you can create a new diagram yes just add these tables one by one you'll see the relationship so this is the diagram as you can see the database diagram now let's create a stored procedure so stored procedure you can just directly create a new procedure so here we don't want such things so I'll just delete it just write create procedure let's give the name of procedure insert book well, instead of that you can just give that issue book and specify the parameters first parameter for issue book is at the rate date of issue its data type is date next is at the rate accession number its data type is numeric you can specify the last one was student ID and where care 50 I gave that okay as begin insert into here you have to specify the queries insert into first we have to insert into issue master values at the rate first it is date of issue second parameter was accession number third value is rate student ID then at the same moment it should change the status of a book to I so for that we need to update which table we need to update we need to update the bookmaster table set status equals to I so here it is giving you as a keyword so you can just give this as in the bracket where your accession number equals to sorry your accession number is equals to at the rate accession number and just end it so this is how you have to specify the to just write the procedure for performing some multiple operations on a table you can just save this sorry you can just execute this procedure first so here accession number is given the wrong name accession number okay just execute this so your procedure is executed now you can see the procedure here SP issue book. Now just execute this procedure by execute stored procedure. Just pass the parameters. For example, I'm passing the parameter 0202. It's a date of issue 16. Accession number. Now, one more thing we need to have some master records available in the table. So let's insert some record in the tables master records. For example, in this table, I need to insert some book table values so just edit to 200 rows i'm inserting some record for example let us see author let's say kanitkar status initially it will be available then 1002 let's give the book name as operating system so author is tanin bound so we have two books available here just execute this now open your student master table and it top 200 rows here you can just insert student id let's say student id is s101 student name is vikrant then s102 let's give this as alex smith let's execute this let's close this now just try to execute the procedure so what we want here what is an expected output over here like we want this bookmaster 
this status should be changed to i which whichever book we are going to issue and at the same time it should insert into the issue master so let's execute that procedure executes procedure i'm issuing on the date let's say 2 2 2016 accession number available accession number 1001 and let's student id will be 101 so okay we'll see some error over here you can specify here single quote because as it is a string right so this is the execution of a procedure it will return zero means the procedure has been executed properly now let's see in student master records so it is inserted and at the same moment in the book master it has updated to i so on this same select the table database so you can see it's simultaneously also select star from student master and select star from book master and select star from issue master so if you select both this table you'll see the same book has been issued to the student 101 so that's it just try to execute 